Hello everyone. I'd like to present some results today on constraint-based Cartesian planning in MoveIt. My name is Mark Moll. I'm the director of research at Picnic. And this presentation will be given jointly with Jeroen de Meijer, who's a PhD student at KU Leuven in Belgium. Uh, before we get into the details of uh, what exactly was done, I'd like to give a little bit of motivation about uh, why we care about Cartesian planning. Uh, many robotics applications have uh, task constraints. In fact, this is often the natural way to think about how the robot should move. Uh, so in the figure on the right, I'm showing a robot that's pulling, uh, following some welding path. So there are pretty exact constraints in position and there's some tolerance on orientation. That's also a sort of a critical thing to be able to specify the pose of the end effector partially. So in some cases, it may be necessary to completely constrain it that both position and orientation are constrained in other applications. Uh, some of the degrees of freedom like the translational or orientation constraints could be um, only partially uh, specified. Uh, a good example is a robot holding a, a mug or something with a liquid inside and needs to hold the cup somewhat level so the position is not so much constrained uh, and only two degrees of uh, rotational freedom are constrained, but still free to rotate around Z. Um, and this is uh, something that's very important in many uh, practical applications and industrial applications where this is just expected to work. And MoveIt has some support for it, but it's still far from perfect, uh, which is uh, why we started uh, working on this new functionality. Um, before we get into that, uh, let's first sort of try to think about what this ideal Cartesian planner should look like. Uh, it should provide completeness guarantees, meaning that if there exists a solution, they should eventually find it. Uh, it should be able to handle both constrained and under-constrained problems. So under-constrained meaning that there are fewer constraints than degrees of freedom. Uh, ideally, this system would also be real-time and quickly respond to changes in the environment. And finally, uh, we'd also like human-like motions, where if there are more degrees of freedom available, it should move in a way that looks natural. Uh, this is often hard to formalize. Before we get into the details of what was done with OMPL constraint planning, uh, I would first like to present an overview of other uh, Cartesian planning approaches that provide different guarantees. Because um, it turns out that it's impossible to provide all these current guarantees that I just talked about specifically within guarantee completeness and real time at the same time. Um, in MoveIt, we have a Cartesian interpolator that uh, is, is not really a planner, it's really just an interpolator, and therefore it doesn't provide completeness guarantees, but it is very uh, quick. I mean, it's somewhat real time. Uh, next up, we have MoveIt Servo, which used to be called Jogarn. Uh, it's not a complete planner, but it is real time. So it's for the right, for real time applications, it is sort of the right kind of tool uh, that you could use for that. Um, and it supports under constraint uh, systems and it tends to avoid singularities. Um, next up, we have OMPL constraint, constraint planning, which is the, the meat of this talk. Um, it provides probabilistic completeness, which means that as time goes on, eventually with probability one, it will find a solution. Uh, it does not provide any real time guarantees, but it does plan ahead. And while it doesn't uh, out of the box avoid singularities and joint limits, we can model this as additional obst virtual obstacles in the scene and thereby kind of avoid these uh, uh, situations. Next up, we have Descartes, uh, which is a um, resolution complete planner, uh, meaning that it discretizes our case solutions and then searches through all of those to find a feasible uh, yes, path. Uh, it's not real, real time, but it does plan ahead and provides many of the same properties as uh, the OMPL constraint planner. And finally, we have uh, the PILS industrial motion planner, which is currently uh, being worked on and getting uh, integrated with the rest of MoveIt. Uh, it uh, behaves like the way that many industrial robot software is expected to behave. It's fairly real time and deterministic, uh, but it's not a complete planner. So with that, uh, let's go into the details of OMPL constraint planning and I'll hand it over to Jeroen. 